Capricorn viewers, I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So Capricorns, let's see where we're at with your situation. This could be an ex, could be a new person coming in, could be a twin flame, a soulmate, just however the story plays out. So Capricorns, what is going on with your love life? What is your person thinking, feeling? What are they wanting with you? Just please show me the story. Show me what's going on there with that. Six of Swords seems like it keeps wanting to come out too, so it keeps popping out. Which is all about, you know, transition. Um, it seems like Earth signs are actually going through that a lot right now. You guys are going through transitions and leaving old karmic partners behind and, um, you know, meeting new people and, and you know, vice versa. You're, uh, it seems like your um, significant others are also getting out of karmic situations and coming back around, so... That's good. It's good energy. Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, the Devil, the Five of Swords, and then the Six of Swords. Okay. See, it's interesting because for Earth signs, I keep getting um for like. All your readings for Earth signs have been very similar. Um, leaving third, either you're leaving a third party situation, or um, your person is getting out of a, a karmic relationship or a third party situation. It's interesting because I just did. I don't know if it was the Taurus or the Virgo video I just did, and it was pretty much it was very similar energy. The story would be different than what I'm getting for you guys here, but um, but yeah, you you guys all seem to all all Earth signs seem to be in this. I don't know if it's like the moon phase or what's going on with the planets right now, but there must be something going on that's really affecting Earth signs, because you guys all seem to be going through this. Um, well, you seem to be going through this like a transition, but and and new energy is coming in, and for your person especially, I think that they're getting out of a third party situation. Um, I see three, see three pentacles, four of wands, five of swords, six of swords. So it's three, four, five, six. It's like taking the steps. It's like baby steps. Um, remember the last readings I, I've done for Capricorn. I keep getting this energy of your, your masculine or your feminine, however the energy plays out, you know, just don't get caught up on semantics. It's, it's, I mean, don't get caught up on, not semantics, but, uh, you know, if I say he, she, whatever, just just ignore it. You know, it's it's however it resonates for you. I, I usually refer to them as masculines because I know like 95% of my viewers are women that are watching for their masculines. So, but it, it could be a woman. It, it could, it, it's whatever, it, however it resonates with you. So, so yeah. Um, so yeah, three, four, five, six. So it's kind of like they're taking baby steps. And, and this group of Capricorns that I've been channeling lately, they're very emotional. They're very romantic. They're very sensitive. They have a very feminine energy, a very soft energy, a very loving in energy. I think in the past they kind of had to survive, and so they didn't get a chance to be that way. But if you've been keeping up with my Capricorn videos, you know, I've, I've seen that they've kind of been broken open by life over the past month or so. They've just gotten to this point where they maybe they're not working as much as they were before or there was just some type of shift that happened, um, like a tower moment that came in for them in the not too uh, far off past. And, you know, they're feeling again. They're open again. They're, maybe this is somebody, maybe you guys met recently and, and you are this change that's happening in, in your life, in their life. Like maybe what they feel for you is kind of, it's like they haven't felt anything in, in so long and it's like they have this new love with you. Um, that's really making them, waking them up and making them want to be vulnerable and making them want to try again because they are in this very vulnerable heart space right now. They have been over the past month or so at least because that's the energy I've been getting. Um, See, I'm just looking at these cards, and you see how both these characters here, the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, they're both looking back. You see the man in the Ace of Wands. You see this card. He looks very, um, he looks sad. He looks, it's like this, his heart is locked up. You know, and it's like you hold the key to that. It's it's like he's very, he's got like this forlorn energy to him. He's just very, like, nostalgic, very not sure what to do next, just kind of looking back to the past. 
sorry. And then with the four of wands here, this is like, this is, you know, more nostalgia. And this is kind of dreaming about you, dreaming about how it could be, dreaming about better times. Because um, again, these this energy that I channel from the Capricorns that I read, it's, it's, your person is very empathetic and vulnerable and loving. They might not have always been like that. They might have recently gone through something that just broke them open and made them um, that way. But but yeah, that's the energy that they're in now, the past month at least, if this is your story. But it's like, see this four of wands, it's like he or she is trying to dream about you. They're trying to, they're looking for their, their you know, we keep getting this energy, the same energy that they're just in their head about you a lot like they're either either working a lot or they were working a lot um they might not be now see for some of them i do feel like maybe they're not working so much and that's what's giving them this opportunity to like really get in tune with their feelings again because before they were just on autopilot and it was just go 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 and it's like now they're being forced whatever whatever happened whether it was you know a loss of a job or a huge tower moment like a death in the family or for some of them um, you know, or meeting you, maybe you guys just met and it's like this, it's all this new exciting relationship, whatever it is, it's like there's something there that's making them feel again. And, you know, with the four of wands here, it's like they're, they're, they're dreaming about you. They, they want to escape with you. They're dreaming about what it'd be like to be with you or what it's been like to be with you if this is somebody you've already dated. Um, and it's like when they go to bed at night, it's kind of like they, they have like this hermit isolated kind of energy where it's like they just want it to be just you and them. They they go to bed and, and think about you and dream about you and wish that you were there with them, that you were there cuddling with them. It's just very romantic, soft, sweet energy. Um, but you see the hierophant here is kind of blocking. You see the four of wands is trying to dream and trying to look for it. And like he or she is, they are dreaming about you. But it's kind of like the hierophant, which would be, you know, society or, or rumors that were spread about you or like family, uh, friends, institutions, karmic parties, you know, something social that's like blocking them from you and, and keeping them in this energy where it's just a dream and they don't feel like it's attainable to really be with you. Um, you know, the hierophant is blocking, but it's like with the knight of wands here, I feel like he or she kind of... Um, like, look at this. This is like passion, power. This is, they're, they're saying screw the hierophant energy and they're getting into this energy instead and they're following their heart more. You know, this is the Knight of Wands. It's like this fire energy. It could be a fire sign for some of you um, or, you know, just similar. I don't know. It's just like this this passion, this power, this strength, this this sudden courage. They're, they're saying, screw it. So if people have been trying to separate you guys, like friends or family, like did not approve of you or like society, or this could be like saying, screw it to an employer. Like maybe they quit a job or they lost a job or something. It's like they're turning away from this higher front energy, whatever it represents in your specific situation. They're turning away from that and they're getting in their passion and their, their heart is leading them to you. Um, and then we have the devil energy, which I think means a couple different things for this reading. So remember before... Um, I, I told you guys for if you guys have been keeping up with my my Capricorn videos, I keep getting that you know they are kind of doing the shadow work right now. They are they they were broken open and they have a lot of healing to do because they've been on autopilot and just you know they've been stressed and they haven't really been opening up and um, allowing themselves to feel for such a long time, and now they're finally allowing themselves to feel. So they're still going through this process where you know they might be they might be drinking or doing drugs. They might be. Um, just self-destructive, they might just be depressed, anxious, maybe mental illness, um, mental instability, uh, addictions, sex addictions, whatever kind of addictions, it's like they might just be, you know, because they feel everything all at once, it's like they ignore their feelings for so long, and it's like it all just came crumbling down, and they're just, they're going through this breakthrough right now, they, they're, they're like in that breakdown process, they're, they're getting in touch with their soul, they're they're allowing their feelings and finally they're doing the shadow work. So there is some of that devil energy. Um, and for others of you, I do also think it's referring to a karmic that is, you know, looks like maybe doesn't look like that, but like, like astrally, she looks like that. You know what I mean? Like it's like a metaphor for, I don't know if she actually physically looks like that, but it's more like a representation, like a metaphor of like kind of what you see this, this woman who's like not, she doesn't look trustworthy. You know what I mean? She looks very like, like controlling and bossy and seductive like she doesn't look like seductive in like a bad way like like just you know 
like she wants to be a dominant person but she's not it's it's like it's not a good energy um and it's almost like all his passion see with the four of wands and the knight of wands too it's like all his passion is for you it's like he's dreaming about you he's missing you he's um or, or she he or she is you know dreaming about you missing you wanting to be connected but there's still this karmic that's in the way there's still this this devil card, this energy that like comes and is like, oh no, you're gonna give that energy and love to me instead, not her. Like it comes and like blocks him from you. It comes and you know demands to go through his phone or demands to know who he's talking to. It's like this energy that comes through and just blocks you guys. Um, with the five and six of swords here, it's interesting. I was so drawn to with the six of swords out because um, it kept falling out, and I'm like, well, that makes sense now why I did it. Uh, why it kept wanting to be right there because it's like saying, you know, uh, with the five of swords, that would also be the karmic or, or you know, for all of you, it's not a third party situation. Well, I mean, I think it's it's for a third party situation, but for some of you, it's an actual person and for others, it's just like work or something else that was some, something, some backstabbing, some, some hostile, unwanted negative energy. Um, and possibly, you know, for a lot of you, this could, this five of swords could be a person. It could be your, your masculine's um, or your feminine's karmic that is, you know, doing the backstabbing and is just kind of like hostile and trying to trying to claim him and trying to tie him down and not letting him come to you. But with the Six of Swords, they're, you know, this they're you're, they're letting the karmic go. They're they're looking forward to the future. They're leaving the past behind. They don't want this Five of Swords energy anymore. They'd rather have something with you. Um So let's see. So tell me what happens with this after the six of swords. The so six of swords is like looking forward, starting a new life, which would probably be with you, I would think. All right, show me what happens after the six of swords energy. What comes next for you guys together? Two of swords. I'll put these away. Let's see death two of swords page of swords it's actually a pretty good reading because it's yeah i do feel like he or she is coming towards you with this energy see the death of this karmic situation whether it was um you know, like a third party situation, like, like an actual, um, relationship that's over with, or whether it was a job that's ended or whatever it is, it's made them feel it's like they went through that transition. And, you know, that led them to be in the ace of cups energy where they're just see how vulnerable and emotional they still are. It's like, they're in tune with their feelings. They're in tune with this romantic energy. And I feel them wanting to come forward to you, but I kind of feel some like hesitation and fear and uncertainty. So I don't know if maybe this is somebody who chose the karmic over you and they're not sure if you would actually give them another chance or like maybe this is somebody who's like working all the time and they like didn't have time for the relationship and so they have maybe you guys haven't talked for a bit and so they're not sure if they could actually talk to you because they don't know what you would say after all this time because I just sense this kind of like uncertain energy like they want to talk to you but they don't know how they don't know what you would say and with the two of swords, it's like they're thinking about it, like they're digging deep inside and they're trying to figure out what they want. Well, I think that they want you. I do think that they know that they want you, but I think they're trying to like dig deep inside to like just make important life decisions. You know what I mean? It could be regarding work. It could be regarding children. It could be regarding um, I think I hear court cases for some of you, um, love, just all areas of their life. They're just doing a lot of soul searching these days and trying to figure out what to do next. And, um, you know, trying to balance everything out and trying to just make some really important life decisions and trying to figure out how to come forward to you. Because, again, I think that a lot of them, I just get this sense of, like, they do really miss you, but they feel, like, this insecurity, like, this hesitation. Like, maybe they know that they did you wrong or they know that, you know, this is, like, a new person. Maybe they, like, know that they should have said more or done more and they just didn't. Like, maybe they weren't in a position where they could offer you love, so they didn't say it or do as much as they would have liked to. And maybe they ended up with this other person instead. So they're just dig they're doing a lot of, um, yeah, just soul searching and trying to find the answers and trying to figure out how to come forward. 
But with the Page of Swords here, it's, it's a message. So it's like they are coming in. Um, swords can be kind of harsh, so they might come in with some truth and clarity and honesty. It might not necessarily be like a romantic message. It might be almost like more of a logical message, which kind of makes sense because they feel like, you know, again, they're kind of afraid of rejection. So they might not come forward right away with like an apology or with like this deep love offer. It might just be like, hey, how's your day? How are things going? It's been a while. Um, or maybe they'll use something like a mutual friend or a mutual job or some way. I think they're looking for some way to get back in. They're looking for like a mutual common ground so that they can come back in. But with the page of swords here, it's like I do feel like they are wanting to message. And, um, you know, there's just this this fear, but the, but uh, this kind of nervous energy. But the passion is there, so it's good. It's, it's overall a pretty good reading, I would say. So if this uh, resonates with you guys, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.